Hey there, Pastor Mark here. I tell you, um, one of the things that I've been really encouraged about is seeing the response of people who are saying, hey, uh, tell me what I can do. I want to pitch in. I want to help. I know that in times like this, that there can be this feeling of, I don't know what to do. What can I do? I, I you, you look at the talents of this person or what this group is doing or what that person is doing. You think, I, I can't do that. I'd, here's the question is not to get lost in those things that we can't do and then kind of be defeated in that, but it's more of, okay, what can I do? Because here's a couple things I know we can do. Number one is you can pray. Don't underestimate that. Praying for leaders, praying for our first response workers, praying for the elderly, praying for people in the church, praying for your neighbors. That's huge. It's, it's, it's the idea of, I, I can pray for people. That's one thing. That moves heaven. The other thing is figure out well, what can you do? Not not the big things you can't do, but what can you do? I think about that with uh, Peter and John when they were walking uh, outside uh, the gate called Beautiful in Jerusalem there, and they saw a crippled man who was begging, and they said, silver and gold have we none. We don't, but what we do have we give you in the name of Jesus Christ, and that man rose up and walked. So even if it's not a divine healing, it's the idea of, hey, I, I, this is, I don't have this to give, but here's what I do have. And that man got touched. That man was seen as a man, a seen as a human being. The scriptures say that after he got up, he went into the temple praising God. Never, never, never underestimate the power of a, of a spoken word of kindness to somebody a phone call to somebody to check in and see how they're doing. Prayer lifted up on somebody's behalf. Starting a group, an online group. It could be around a certain subject or it could just be open to anybody. Something that we have, something that we can do. The little things matter. They matter. They really do. It doesn't have to be enormous. The little things matter. Those little things add up and they touch people's lives. So let's be thinking about that. That's the encouragement. God, I'll pray for people and then whatever you ask me to do, even if it seems insignificant, remember a cup of cold water, he said, matters. So let's do that. All right, God bless you guys. See you tomorrow.